A truss is a prefabbed rafter and ceiling joist system in most cases. And what it does is it's engineered so it can use less wood than you would for a traditional uh, rafter style roof. And it's really useful, especially for really common single pitch or hip style roofs. Something that can be prefabbed on, uh, you know, on a fairly production style basis. The planning process will be another aspect of the fault protection that isn't in the equipment, but in how we plan how we do the work. Again, changing mindset. One conversation I had with a gentleman that were, they were flying trusses in, and after we discussed, he said, it will be dangerous for me to have a guy, once we have enough trusses set, to have a guy climb up through the lattice work up to the ridge to install an anchor. And I completely agree. You're right, that would be highly dangerous and unacceptable. However, before the trusses were this way, they were laying down this way, or they were on the ground or on the back of the delivery truck. The anchorage and some of the equipment could have been installed on the ground, and then when the trusses were put up in place, it would already be there. Again, you're still installing the anchor, but you're doing it in a safer manner. Well, the, the simplest way to stay safe is just build it on the ground. Uh, you know, I mean, that's not always viable for uh, younger guys that don't believe in paying for a crane to come or owning a crane like I do. But yeah, that's option number one is build it on the ground. And then you don't have to tie off and you're not worried about gravity. And then you just pick it up and put it on top of the walls. You know, so that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is that's more industry standard is that you would, for instance, get your gable truss and sheet it while it's down and then stand it, brace it, and then roll a couple of trusses. And during that time, you're tying off to the top plates and you can't really go very far because, you know, if, if you go out too far and you're up 10 feet or nine feet, then you're gonna hit the deck if you fall. So you, can, you have a very limited radius, but once you have a certain amount of trusses rolled, then you can brace them so they're sturdy and can withstand, you know, the impact of a grown man falling, pulling on them. Once they're braced and stood, then you can put your retractable up higher and then you can roll your trusses. Yeah, a lot of our jobs, you know, crane, just fly one truss at a time, but that's big trusses. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. We used to always walk the top plates and roll the trusses and bend down and put the blocks in. You know, now we, we work off of like scissor lifts, man lifts, whatever, and just, you know, the guy's near plate height, but if the plate is actually mid chest or stomach because he's on a scissor lift and you can roll the trusses that way. And you know, and you have a nice platform to have all your blocks or you could build scaffolding, but scaffolding has its own inherent pitfalls too, because you got to build it right 